that was dangerous. I'm going to talk about another subject that might and could be a little more dangerous. That subject is love. I'll preview by starting with compatibility, a state in which two things are able to exist or occur together without problems or conflict, a feeling of sympathy and friendship, like-mindedness. Going off of compatibility just by itself can be a trap because first of all, you can be compatible with somebody who's evil. What if you decide to grow and the other person decide not to? You're in for a disaster. Infatuation, an intense but short-lived passion or admiration of someone or something. Be very wise because this is a cautious situation to be in. A lot of affairs have developed because of it. Then there's love, an intense feeling of deep affection. God is love. Not I love you like a fat kid loves cake. People are familiar with the five love language by Gary Chapman. Let's look at the five love languages. Words of affirmation, acts of service, physical touch, receiving gifts, quality time. A relationship should never stand still. It's either going to get better or worse. You can look at love like a pile of leaves just waiting on the ground. For when the winds and storms of life come, it'll just blow away from the surface. Or we can look at love like a root, a part of the plant which attaches itself to the ground to support, typically underground, conveying water and nourishment to the rest of the plant via numerous branches and fibers. So my question is, does your love stay on the surface above ground like a pile of leaves? Or does your love grow like a beautiful tree with a foundation deeply rooted in the ground before it takes surface? I'll put together more research and share with you soon. Thank you.